y'all. Uh, I got some dreams for y'all. And uh, let me see. Let me start off with the one I can remember. Uh, I had one with Beyonce. Uh, she was saying that uh, we were cool. You know, she was being cool with me because Michael Jackson had told her that uh, that I was, you know, a good person or, you know, uh, a person that would be a good friend to her or something. So, so, uh, so she decided to speak to me, you know what I'm saying, and befriend me. Uh, let me see, another one, uh, which was probably about a week ago, uh, or a few days ago, uh, was with Busta Rhymes, I was hanging out with Busta Rhymes, and, uh, we were in some place, you know what I'm saying, I was, uh, also hanging with this guy, he was a rapper, uh, he was a young rapper, and he was dark-skinned, and, uh, we were watching, uh, you know, like, Yo MTV, rap, Yo MTV Raps or something like that, and he was on TV. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was just talking to him. He was talking good to me, you know what I'm saying? He was like, man, you know, I like your stuff. Or, you know, I like your rap and stuff like that. He was like, and I was like, shoot. I was like, man, shoot, I like yours too. Look, man, you, look how you doing it, you know what I'm saying? Because he was kind of down on himself, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was the dark-skinned uh, rapper, you know what I'm saying? He was like down on himself, like, you know, like he wasn't doing good. I was like, shoot, you think you not doing good? I ain't even out there yet, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even out there yet, but you on TV already and getting clocked, you know, getting played, you know, on, on the on the mainstream, on, on the mainstream, doing your thing, you know, so I was just complimenting him on that. Uh, let me see. I had a dream the, uh, the night before Christmas, you know, uh, so I guess the night of the 24th, about to be Christmas. Uh, I was in this place, I was hanging with uh, one of my friends, uh, Missy Longoria, you know, um, one of my friends from high school, and, uh, you know, we were just hanging out, and then uh, we came to this point, came to this point where, uh, yeah, you can, son, yeah, you can, and we came to this point where, uh, you know, she had sat down on, on, these, on this bench outside, and, uh, and I was talking to her, and, uh, and she was saying that, uh, you know, the 2012, you know, the, the end of the world, or, uh, that she had heard it on the news, you know, so she had already heard it from me, like, you know, with uh, a storm is coming, you know, uh, one of my prophetic dreams, you know, a prophetic dream from Blake Foster, a storm is coming, uh, you know, where I was where I was saying these things, you know, about the, the end of the system of things and, you know, how uh, things are about to change, the seven-year tribulation is coming soon. No one knows the day or the hour, but that it's coming soon. Uh, so I'm telling her, you know, so I'm knowing that she know that, and then she say, you know, she started crying. You know, I say, why, you, what, 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 what you crying for? I seen that she was upset because she had seen, she said, I seen it on the news also. She said, I seen it on, can you close that refrigerator for me, please? Uh, she, she seen it on the newspaper, on the, uh, or whenever you get your stuff. Hurry up and get it for me. Um, so she, yeah, so she was, uh, upset, you know, that, that, uh, she was upset because she seen it on the news. She said, I seen it on the news, you know, so it, it, it confirmed what your dream was already saying, you know, which was saying, it was also saying that people will be knowing uh, in these prophetic dreams about the 2012, it's saying that people will know uh, without me even saying anything. Like, my, God made my job easy because he's showing the people on TV. Nobody can hide what's about to happen to the earth, you know, and... Uh, and nobody knows the day or the hour when all these things will take place, but you will see the signs, the, the rapid increase in earthquakes and diseases and pestilence, you know, um, the uh, sin running rampant. Um, what else? The, the sin running rampant, the strange tides, um, uh, so many different things, you know. Um, but to keep on, to keep on it, uh, let's see. So she was upset. So, so I, you know, so I put my shut my hand on her shoulder, you know, and I, and I comforted her, you know, and just telling her, you know, that Jesus is coming soon, you know, our Lord, what we've been waiting for, what our Christians have been waiting on, you know, for our glorious Lord to come in the sky on his glorious throne on the clouds, you know, for everyone to see. Like I said, First Thessalonians chapter 4, you know, is one reference of that. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, uh, Luke chapter 17, Luke, uh, Mark chapter 13, um, the list goes on, Daniel chapter uh, 12, uh, you know, this, the list goes on and on um, about these scriptures. Uh, so, you know, I'm just telling you, you know, it's okay, you know, it's okay, you know, this is, this is only the beginning of our life, you know. The world, the system of things is changing, the world is coming to an end as far as the way that things are governed, you know, even when the rapture comes, you know, uh, which hopefully 
we're supposed to be hoping is very soon. That's what the Bible teaches us to hope for, that the rapture and everything, Jesus' return, all of that comes soon, you know. Um, and when it does come, you know, we'll be taken care of, you know, in that safe place, that safe home. Huh? Look at the Lord, Prophet of Dream from Blake Foster, the Lord's waiting place. Like I said, you know, just he's just been building up all the material year after year in my life, you know, and I haven't even understood it. And, you know, now just, you know, I'm just getting older and getting more wiser and um and all of these things are starting it's like prophecy doesn't make sense until it comes true all of the things that were in my dreams are lining up and i'm just seeing everything you know even the things that i thought could even be impossible you know i just trust the lord you know even I, I, stuff i couldn't even comprehend you know and then it's, it's coming to pass especially with this scientific stuff and you know as the world uh you know these signs in the skies and all these things all of them are starting to line up the earthquakes you know and all these things are starting to starting to take place, you know, um, yeah, man, so, yeah, so we were just consoling, um, so consoling Missy, you know, uh, I put my hand on her shoulder, and, uh, it was somebody that was behind, us, uh, behind Missy that was sitting down, and they, I couldn't see their face or anything, but they put their, their hand on her shoulder, they put their hand on her shoulder first, and then I put my hand on, on her shoulder, you know, and just, you know, just talking to her, and consoling her, and comforting her, you know, letting her know that, you know, no matter what the, uh, the state of the earth is, is looking like, you know, or what the news is saying, you know, that the end of the world is upon the earth and, um, you know, that, that um, mankind as we know it uh, won't exist the same way ever again um, as it is at, at this point in time. Uh, you know, all these things that, that, that this dream is saying that she was seeing on the news, you know, um, and she, it was, it was making her upset because she was like, "This is the same thing I seen in your dreams. I seen on the news, you know, on Channel 12, you know." And then, uh, and then Missy said, uh, "You know, and now since since you are, you know, telling this truth, she's talking to me. You know, Missy talking to me, and she's telling me, you know, now that the, these people know the truth, you know, uh, I mean, know that you're telling the truth and everything. These evil people in these high places." You know, now that you're now you're on the list, you know what I'm saying? Now you uh they know your name, you know, they know um they they're starting to know who you are because you, you are preaching the truth, you know what I'm saying? And it's becoming and it's coming to back as, as a threat, you know what I'm saying? Because it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? And uh and so that was that dream. Let me see, uh then I had one <clears throat> a couple of nights later. This one, uh this one had Shane Battier. Uh Shane Battier. Uh, we were at the school. It was me and Shane Battier. We were at the school. I don't know where it was at. It looked like a, I don't know if it looked like a college or what, but uh, we were coming out of a classroom. We went into this one room, and I was talking to Shane Battier. And so I was talking to him about the end times, you know what I'm saying? I told him, you know, hey, you know, we're living in the last days, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, in 1948, you know, Israel was established back uh, as a as a a nation, you know, and they had, they had been uh, not been a nation for, uh, for centuries, like for... Oh, uh, I think like 2,000 years, the people hadn't, uh, you know, inhabited the, the, uh, and had inhabited that land, you know, and, and God said that in the last days, um, that He will bring back all of. This was in the Old Testament, you know, that He will bring back all of His people from, you know, the farthest ends of the earth because they had all been scattered, you know, as punishment for not obeying God, you know, uh, and they and then they will return back to their land, you know, because He would not have His anger or wrath against them forever. And once they in 1948 this happened, this prophecy was fulfilled, and they said that this marks uh, the, the the end, uh, the last days. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, I was just telling him that, you know, but he was very skeptical, you know, uh, while listening to me, you know, Shane Battier was, he was very skeptical, he was like, like, nah, I mean, who are, like, he's like, who are, you know, like, who are you, you know what I'm saying, like, you, you, like, you don't know nothing, you know what I'm saying, like, um, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, well, you know, look at the signs on the earth, you know, and the, the earthquakes and many diverse places, like I said, the, the sign of, of Israel being uh, reestablished as a nation, uh, you know, I say, I say, are you a Christian, you know what I'm saying, because it's like while I'm still talking to him, I'm asking him questions like, uh, that I know about him, you know, personally, you know what I'm saying, but it's only because God has showed me and told me, you know, so I say, I say, are you a Christian, you know what I'm saying, he said, yes, Shane Batty had said, yes, I'm a Christian. And, uh, you know, I said, well, then, you know, listen, you should be listening to what I'm saying, you know, in Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, Luke chapter 17, Mark chapter 13, many places in the Bible is talking about these things, that the same things that Jesus 
spoke about in these chapters and this gospel in these gospels is, is the same things that's coming up in my dreams and the same things that's coming up in the world, you know, and that you should listen. You know, he's still very skeptical, you know what I'm saying? I was like I was like, Hey, you went to Duke University, right? You know, uh, he's like, yeah, you know, cause I got to be a little smart math with him a little bit because he being, you know, very, he kind of being skeptical with me. So I got to be tough. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, but not rude or anything, but just like, you know, hey, so yeah, I like, you went to Duke University, right? He was like, yeah, you know, yeah. he's like, yeah, I did. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, I already, I was like, well, tell Coach K, I said, what's good with it? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like. This dude is a clown, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, but I'm just being a regular human being while still telling him, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, Coach K? I said it was good. But uh, I just want to talk to you about the end of the world, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, all these things is being prophesied. In uh, Acts chapter 2, uh, you know what I'm saying? Joel chapter 2, Daniel chapter 12, um, like I said, uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, talking about the Antichrist, all the book of Revelation, you know, um, we just it's so much so much scripture, you know, and uh, people got to know about it. You know, so I'm just uh, I'm just telling y'all about those dreams. I can't think of any more right now, but uh, just want to tell y'all, you know, nobody's perfect. Uh, nobody on this earth is. Anyone who says that they are does not and says they do not sin is calling God a liar, and uh, God cannot lie. You know, so that means that everybody has sin in their life. You know, no, God cannot lie. That's right. He's not, he, he's not a true lie. What? He's not a true lie. God can't lie, huh? Uh-uh. It's not a true lie. Yeah. Uh, uh, only the dead are a true lie. Only the dead devil. Only the devil. That's right. He's a liar. Deceiver. Yeah, he makes people on the judge. They really didn't do it. Yeah, he's bad. They asked him, they asked the guards, and what right now? Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. And, and God's, God, he can't talk because he got hurt. Who, Jesus? No, God. He got hurt because he, he was a, he's murdered. No, that's Jesus, man. God, Jesus, yeah. Jesus is God. God the Son. Yeah, they got two gods. Mm. Got two gods. Well, it's three parts of God. It's three parts of God, but it's one God. Yeah. It's God our Father, Jesus Christ His Son, and the Holy Spirit is God also. Three in one. Like, Just like water, and fuck, ice, and, and gas. Yeah, Same substance, yeah, H2O. Say, yeah, Father. I said Father. Say your prayers, man. Our Father, our Holy Heaven. He went to heaven. Yeah. Come back to life. Yeah. Into life. Yeah. Uh, 